Hey to my bariatric beauties and my bariatric buddies. This is Neek Neek back at you. Haven't done a video in a while, but I'm back. Did you miss me? I miss me. But anyway, um, just on here to update y'all. I mean, like I said, I haven't done a video in a while because I'm still pre-op for the VSG vertical sleeve gastrectomy. And it really wasn't that much to talk about. I mean, like, it's not like I've been losing gargantuan amount of pounds. I've lost a little bit. Um, but nothing really pertaining to surgery has been going on. Um, from the last time I did a video, I think my surgery day was supposed to be February 19th. Well, that got pushed back. I don't know if I talked about this stuff, so I'm kind of just recapping. My surgery got pushed back to March 19th, which is cool because it's two weeks away. And with that said, I am officially beginning my liquid diet, my two-week liquid diet um, pre-op phase. And I am so excited. Um, I know people are like, dang, you excited and you ain't even going to be eating? Yeah, like, I'm excited because... The closer I get, it lets me know that the ball is rolling. You know what I'm saying? It means like two weeks go by so fast and I will be on the loser's bench. So I'm really happy about that. Um, also, you know, just it's, it's a new life for me starting. I mean, I know that you have to start now and, you know, start doing the pre-op phase of doing what you need to do to get into the habit of living a lifestyle conducive to your sleep. And I've been doing that, but it's like, it's here the time is now that's so i'm really excited um i would like to announce also that i had a very big nsv today um today well yesterday because it's officially tomorrow now it's officially the fifth well yesterday um i was gonna have my last supper you know my last time eating ridiculously large fat girl portions of food yeah i was gonna do that because i knew i was probably at some point in my life gonna miss eating big retarded amounts and I've committed to you know once the sleeve is in the effect I'm not going to stretch it out I'm not going to be going ham turkey and bologna on plates of food I'm not going to be just doing the same things that got me to where I am now so I decided um I was just going to have me a last supper I was going to have me a last meal a last shebang I was going to get it in Chicago style like I was going to I was going to do some damage and like at my job um it's endless food around it's just ridiculous amounts of food all the time you name it we got it it's there it's cooked it's ready you can really get your fat girl beast on and i was like okay so i'm i'm gonna do this i'm gonna fix me a big plate i'm gonna eat all my favorites i'm gonna have me some ribs i'm gonna have me some meatloaf and mashed potatoes i'm gonna have me some just randomness like if you would have seen the plate that i envisioned in my head like none of that food went together it was miscellaneous parts from like 18 different meals that were my favorite meals and i was going to eat them in one meal like i was i was really planning on it and so i'm sitting at work today and i'm like okay excuse me y'all itchy scalp sister girl needs some oil on that scalp so i'm like okay i'm gonna fix this place so i go in i'm looking around at the food and it's like no matter how good it looks and i mean it was like little fingers of steam were going in my nose and it was calling me to it like Neek Neek you want to eat us and I was like yes I do but I didn't and I was just so surprised at myself like to me that was a, a non-scale victory because like I said any other time I would have stacked it all up I went back for seconds thirds fourths I'd have ate till I like was sick of myself I would have knowing like okay this is the last time you're gonna eat like this and have all your favorites of everything not that you can't have good food after the sleeve but i like i said i'm i'm with the mindset of if i'm gonna change up my anatomy if i'm going to that extreme to have a healthier lifestyle i don't plan on going back not that i'm never going to enjoy a, a good piece of food because i plan on enjoying some good food you can eat good and eat healthy but i'm talking about you know just fattening not paying attention to what you're putting in your mouth type food and as I walked around to look at this food, I got me a little piece of prime rib, a baby baked potato, and some spinach. Like, and I didn't even finish any of it. Like, I took a few bites of this, that, and third. And then I was like, you know what? I'm good. I'm no longer hungry. I'm satisfied. And I stopped there. I stopped. And everybody that know Neek Neek know Neek Neek can get down. I stopped. I didn't go back. I didn't go crazy. I didn't keep, you know, eating everything. And I know my eyes keep shifting. I see them in the camera, but I'm using my tablet and I'm trying to pay attention to my time. But I stopped. And to me, that is a non-scale victory that I'm happy because it's like I can tell that I've changed. I've changed my mindset. I've changed 
what I want to do and what I'm going to do because today I had temptation right in front of me and there was nothing literally physically there restricting me from eating the food other than this and the fact that this has changed and my uncle used to always tell me if you change your thinking you change your world so I'm just so thankful to God I'm just so happy that I can see in myself that I have changed my desires I've changed how I look at food my relationship with food and I don't have to go crazy like it's the last time I'm ever gonna eat I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat again and it's gonna be some good food because if I don't know how to do nothing else I know how to hook it up but I've learned how to do it in a healthy way so I'm just happy I'm so excited because y- y'all don't know I was sitting up there looking at that food dang there had a tear in my eye because I was like okay I really have committed this to my lifestyle I have not just changed in word but I've changed in deed and that's the difference between saying that you changed and knowing that you changed when you can catch yourself doing differently without forcing yourself to do differently real change has taken effect because your desire to do what you used to do has turned into something else don't get me started I get the preaching up in here but anywho I'm just really excited about this and I don't know how I'm going to do this liquid diet. Like, I've gone on church fasts and stuff like that for spiritual reasons. And, you know, when you're not eating, your spirit get all alive and awake. So, I'm cool right there. But now I'm just kind of, like, going on liquid fast to get ready for the surgery. I know it's probably going to be a little bit of uphill battle every once in a while. But I just ask y'all pray for me because I'm, I'm going to make it through this. I don't want to slip up. I don't want to nibble here and there. I want to just do it and do it right. Um, also... Oh, I'm so dry mouth. If anybody got any tips, you know, for just the pre-op phase, anything I should get. I got a couple things, a couple protein shakes and um, different things like that. I got some vitamins or anything else, you know, that y'all think I might need to get to prepare myself to be ready for, you know, when I come home. Please inbox your sister. Um, I want to give a shout out, though, because I love my two groups on Facebook, Sassy Sleevers and VSG Vixens. I love y'all guys. Y'all have like the best pictures up they're so inspirational they're so encouraging i'll be like oh my god i can't wait until i can put up pictures of my before and after like y'all don't even know i'd be over here in the moment in the moment like i really do love y'all to life y'all give such good support the inboxes the conversations um love y'all um some of y'all on here y'all videos we have me cracking up miss noxie baby you are hilarious i love watching your videos because you just keep it real you raw and uncut Chicago style, just like I like it. Um, Miss China Wood, you're very down to earth, very cool. You know what? You kind of, I don't even know you. I don't even talk to you. But you, when watching your videos, you kind of remind me of like the big sister type. Like I'm probably going to be hitting her up sometime soon, bugging her with all type of questions about this journey. And uh, Mr. Northern Southerner, yes, hello to you too. I'm giving shout outs today. I don't even know a whole bunch of y'all. I just be watching y'all videos and y'all be having me geeked. Um, can't wait till I can come back and tell y'all one day my starting weight was my current weight is these are the numbers like I really want to be one of the people anyway I'm not going to continue to ramble I just want to let you guys know that I'm very happy very excited I'm in that two week pre-op liquid diet phase y'all pray for me because I'm going to need it and let's get it let's get it let's get it let's get it bariatric beauties and buddies neek neek over and out Mwah.